Uh, Brian mentioned the Caps for Kids program. I'm going to be have my computer over at the Hilton, and if you get a chance to wander by the probably the USSBI table up there, you can see this last Caps for Kids that the Scamp base and actually four other bases, Trieste base, new base we've got, Bonefish base, San Diego base, and LA Pasadena base people attended at the uh, Loma Linda Children's Hospital. And uh, we gave caps out to 39 kids. We hauled the catfish float down there and parked it in the front of their, their building. And kids came out to look at that. I personally interviewed with six newspapers, two television stations, and we had publicity and media everywhere. We got calls off of that. We got a couple of new members coming in uh, off of that and other people with interest. And we've been invited to come back to the hospital every six months. Uh, to do this program again. The kids were just fascinated. I mean, these are children that are pushing IV poles around. Kids that have been in a hospital their entire life, maybe. Uh, they all got needles sticking up. Uh, some of you, uh, uh, you know, know of or have children or grandchildren or friends that, you know, are victims of cancer, and, and you know what an ugly, nasty day that is. So these kids were just really pumped up. It was they all got a certificate with stars on it. It says they're an honorary submariner, signed by two qualified boat sailors, which made it authentic. And they all got a picture of a submarine, uh, which they keep. They love those pictures. They get a cap that looks like this. We don't have any purple, but we've got pink and blue. And they've got dolphins on them that say honorary submariner. We have now given out 1,600 of these caps about 40, maybe 45 bases now are participating in this. It's an easy thing to do. And these caps are great for grandkids. You don't necessarily tell them about the cancer thing, but they get a hat and they become an honorary submariner. You might have noticed the lady 73 years old was so thrilled with what was going on with that program. And then she was diagnosed with cancer. And we got a picture from one of the magazines of this 73-year-old lady just thrilled to be an honorary submariner. How many of you participated in this, or been in a base that's participated in it? Sure. Look around, you ask them about the results of, the, of doing yeah. it. A ask them. You see these people in here? Ask them how they felt after making a presentation, after going down there and seeing those kids. I, first time, Glenn Heisel from the scamp base, the spearheaded art effort down there, so I was too lazy to do it, and uh, got us into Loma. It took us a year to get in. And he and I went down and visited, and we were walking through one of the wards. Here was this cute little girl, she might have been nine years old, maybe 10, I don't know, the tubes and needles stuff stuck into her, and she was giving a lesson, learning something. Had a teacher there. And we walked up, and we were wearing our vests, and she took a look at me, and she said, wow, what neat charms. <laughs> I said, yep, those are submarine charms. Submarine? She said, do you catch any fish? And I said, well, not normally when we're submerged. I do a little fishing when I'm not there. Do you like to fish? And she said, well, I, I video fish. So, of course, I had to ask the obvious question, you know. And the obvious question is, how do those video fish taste? And she said, oh, don't be silly. <laughs> I can't eat video fish. You know, all of us are, 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 you know, daddies or mamas, and most of us are grandpas and grandmas, and some of us are great grandmas and great grandpas. I got four great grandkids. I'm old enough to be in the holding club. I just eh, got stuck in the skimmer navy for a couple of days. And it's an ugly story, you don't want to hear that. But we've all been there, we're, we're grandparents. And we can talk to anybody. You know, how many of you suffer from severe shyness, like I do? You know, it just isn't happening. And talking to those kids, I mean, it's such a break for them, it's better than a day at the circus. Why is that? Because they can't go to the circus. They like the charms, they like the patches, they like to talk about submarines, they like to talk about fishing, anything. So it, it's really a feel-good thing. It's a win-win-win situation. Kids win, you win. We get some media exposure to tell people we're here, to get the community on our side. You know, we've been the silent service forever. Well, we need to be, from Subnet's point of view, a little more visible. There are somewhere between, my guess, and we're going to find out because Pat Household is working on this project, 
to help me with it. We're going to find out how many submariners there are in this country. We've got a secret. I can't tell you the secret right now. But I think there's probably somewhere between a quarter of a million and 400,000 boat sailors in our country. We have 12,700 members. Are we missing a couple of people? Yeah. And every time I sign somebody up, every time, without fail, that doesn't know, has never been a member of USSVI, the first or second thing they say was, man, I didn't know you guys existed. Hello? Of course we do. And yeah, we're here, but they just haven't heard about us. So that's our job, to get that word out, to bring them in, because we need relief crews and mess cooks. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, so we, we, we need that. Thanks. And uh, that's my, my official photographer. And you notice he's not taking any pictures of me. I hate this guy. No, I just <laughs> it, it is Robert Bissonnette. He just retired after 26 years or 204 years, I forget which it was, in our Navy. And, and, uh, now he's a civilian working harder than he ever worked in his entire life. Can't even afford pants that go all the way to the floor. Um, <laughs> but, he, but he's a hell of a guy. I, I like Robert. So, you know, and this is stuff to have fun. Some bits is a place to have fun. If you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. I mean, even Gil Shattuck has fun sometimes. You catch him in the right mood, you can get him a smile or something. You know what I'm saying? I just a couple of guys don't, but we won't talk about them. I don't need more trouble than I've already got. Anyway, listen. I'm honored to be here. I'm looking forward to being in the Hall and Club someday. I want Frank's job someday. I, I want to be the chairman. And I, it's not because I need any more fame than I've already got. It's just because I want to help. So I want to thank you very much for listening. And, and only two or three of you went to sleep. I understand it's damn near my nap time. And uh, I really appreciate that. So it's tremendous. Yes, sir. Oh, tell you woke up. What's the matter with you? Don't do that. No. We're good here, and I thank you again, and, and uh, consider a project for the Holland Club, and, uh, you know, get it on. I know you can do it. Thank you.